first of all, I wanted to know, ikaw ba yung ta, ikaw ba yung director na you consider yourself as a, as a perfectionist? Um, hmm. Nung una, paano ko masasabihin? Kasi dahil as a producer, mm-hmm. sobrang perfectionist ako because I think the director and the executive producers require it from me. Mm-hmm. So, feeling to the reason why I stopped directing for 10 years. Kasi naranasan ko mag-direct ng mga indie, di ba? And with a budget and everything. So, sabi ko, if I'm gonna direct again, I want it na parang yung gusto ko mangyari, makita ko siya visually. So, in a way, perfectionist, siguro semi. Kasi naran- may mga artist na nakarana sa akin na 12, take 13, take 16. Pag hindi talaga nakukuha, hindi ko siya igugo. Yung to the point, sige, ipasked mo na ibang araw. Gawin natin na baka kaya pa natin perfect yan. So, I think it's much more of, I only become, siguro pwede na rin ako tawagin perfectionist because I think it's uh, something to do with the frustrations of your vision. Yung, uh, kasi, I, when, when, I wanna see it the way I read it. So, ganun, ganun ako klase yung filmmaker. Pero, for, for example, may, meron ng finished product, your finished product, nakita mo na sa screen, nakita mo na sa, ano, uh, sa monitor. Ikaw ba, meron bang parang urge sa sarili mo na parang I could have done better? Yes, meron. Oh. Meron, meron pa din. Kasi, yung, yung, yung episode 1, if you remember last year, yung episode 1, parang 16 times siyang pinanood bago ko nasabi mm-hmm. it's final. Kasi meron one time na nasabit ko na episodes 1 to 6, final na. Mm-hmm. Tapos natawagan ko yung Taiwan na paparipol ko lahat. Is, may, na- meron ako, hindi na- may nakita akong mali. Mm-hmm. So ayusin ko siya. Masabitan mo ako ng super final. Mm-hmm. So, uh, meron sa last year, doon sa mga napanood yun, meron doon na parang, ah, siya, may gusto ka. Sa ano, ayusin. Pero, Pero ano yung mga bagay na nag-contribute na, na hindi mo na mabambago yung gusto mong baguhin? Apart yun, from money, of course. Units of acting. Mm-mm. Yung parang, kasi, Kung paano siya sinulat, paano siya kinikwento, ganun siya i-direct. So, meron mga eksena, like, sa Kilerex, sila Cristo, may eksena na parang nakailang take na kami, tapos hindi ko nakuha yung gusto ko. Mm-hmm. Tapos, uupo ako, visualize ko, pag-aralan ko yung script, tapos sabihin ko, sige, sa editing ko gagawin. Baka may magawa ko sa editing. Pagdating sa editing, share, hindi ko na-achieve yung gusto ko. Oh. Hindi na ako makareshoot. Tapos, Mindoro pa na sa Manila na, Tapos biglang lalagyan ng music, ay ang ganda! Tapos pa yun yung panood na natin. Mayroon ako, oh, shock, sana pala may, may, may mali dito. Sana ganito pala pinagawa ko. Sana pinaluhod ko siya. Sana ipapaliiyak niya dito. So may ganun ako. Meron pa rin. Pero, mas more of sa acting ako. Sa feeling ko, hindi ko pa kasi alam ngayon kung actors, director ba ako, technical ako. Hmm. Actually, gusto kong tanong kanina. Yeah. Anyway, But, sabi mo. I mean, I think, sa nakita mo how I shot my scenes. Very cinematic, parang, yung mga blockings, so lahat na may sa metaphor, may meaning yung mga shot. So baka technical ako, pero I like to be the most naman actors, director, kasi mag-usisi ako in terms of acting. Now, with this project, well, na, uh, nabangin ko naman yung reason kung bakit yung ginawa ito before, pero ano talaga yung real inspiration ng, ng series na ito? Um, Anong real inspiration nito? Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> Ang real inspiration talaga nito is <clears throat> parang it was something to do with every time we talk about sex, mm-hmm. laging tayong sinashot off na Ya, yeah, ano ba yan? Ang libog or ang laswa or ang tabo? So napapagod na ako. Yung parang, I'm done. Uh, yung kailangan, isi-sensor ng MTRCB, isi-sensor ko ba sa own community? I'm mm, done. Mm. So parang, I wanna do this. So nung nala, especially sa pla- online platform na walang MTRCB and everything. Mm. So I wanted to, yun ang inspiration ko talaga. Feeling ko talaga, ito totoo. To. Ano ko to eh? Uh, lahat ng frustration ko, ito yun. Pwede ko ba sabihin na parang it's your letter to the people who, parang, you know, the people who always shut off this kind of... Yes. Uh, I think it's the... May, ano man tawag doon? It's my tama ka, love letter to yung mga prude, mm. yung mga tao na, ano tawag nila? Kailin nila, taas, mas mataas yung uh, esteem nila kaysa sa atin uh, because we we decide to talk about sex, we talk about it openly. So, and... 
I don't understand kasi why are we so afraid and disgusted to talk about sex? Sex is essential, kailangan natin sa buhay yun. Naman. <laughs> Pero lahat naman ito kamaligo. Kanya-kanya lang yung pagdadala. So yun yung issue. Yun, piling ko yun yung totoong reason. Besides kung walang libog eh, si, sino tayo? Oh, okay. Pero at saka like ko sinasabi, Wala tayo. yung libog, part yan ng nang nanan natin you as a writer mm. kailangan mo na libog with your exactly. craft ako as a director as a filmmaker as a manager also yung libog mm. ko na to get more events and mga projects ko may artists how do you describe the libog in the series? sobrang libog <laughs> <laughs> parang actually feeling ko ha after yung mapanood nyo sasabihin ng mga tao ang libog ng director ang libog mm. feeling ko ngayon nakikita ko mga bachelors ang libog yung director ang baklang director ang libog ang lata sa series niya mm. so I mean yeah I mean I embrace it Maybe it's true. How do you take constructive? Oh no, 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 like constructive. Yung mga below the belt criticism ng mga well netizens. Primarily. Oh my God, wala okay ako. Like mm-hmm. I read it, I I screen cap, I enjoy it. Kasi mm-hmm. at the end of the day, uh, ako kasi malam ito yung mga ibang pinaniwala ko as a filmmaker. Uh, once you do an art form, it becomes mm-hmm. public. Mm-hmm. Especially tayo tao sa, sa sa industry, we are considered public figures. Once you put yourself in the public, you are already subjecting yourself. Allowing yourself to be scrutinized, criticized. So, okay ako. Uh, may, dati, yeah, I get offended yung mga below the belt. Pero ngayon hindi na. Kasi, sabi nga ni RuPaul, if they don't pay your bills, pay the bitches no mind. <laughs> they don't, they're not paying for anything, for my clothes, for my food. And, mamamatay din naman sila. Kasi, lahat naman ng mga bachelor fakers so eventually mamamatay. Oo oh, naman. So, <laughs> You know, uh, nabanggit mo inspiration ng, ng series, pero meron bang group of people o a person na gusto mo i-dedicate yung series ito? Actually, itong series ito, these are like part of, yung lahat ng characters, are, yung mga names nga are, mm-hmm. are my excess. Mm-hmm. Mga, not just excess, mga lalaki. Mga stories ko to personal eh, mga lalaki na naging naging na, na naging part ng buhay ko sexually mm-hmm. uh, lahat ng klase ng part ng buhay ko and kwento ng mga ibang yung kwento to ng ibang ex ko kasi iba rito kwento ng best friends ko mm-hmm. kung come out yung sa episode 1 with the father yung story ni Cristo mm-hmm. so it's, it's a friend of mine sorry yung friend kasi friend ko na may ibot suicide so isa sa mga best friend ko so pinagsama-sama ko siguro dahil nga nung pandemya alam mo yun ang dami ko na isip sinulat ko lahat mga yeah. na miss ko na rin sila na I lost touch with them so feeling ko yun ah okay, but more than anything else this series is dedicated to all the people who have crisis suffering from crisis right now and self doubt <laughs> crisis self doubt they feel like it's the end of the road for them mm-hmm. if this is this is it na parang we hear you with people, someone can see you, Some we hear you, speak up, huwag ka mahiya, we're here. Kaya nga, yung important tip sa end of the series, nakalagay din yung hotline. Because uh, it's a crazy, fucked up world right now. And if you, kung ikaw yung tao na, you can offer any help, pera, pagkain, whatever. There's something that you can, that you can offer na hindi mo lang alam, your ears. You can actually listen. Ako, that's how I see it. Kung wala ka ngayon, uh, uh, kapos ka sa pera and everything, you can actually just be there for the person that needs someone right now to listen, to talk to, someone uh, who can listen to the person. Ako yan ang paniniwala. Are you happy with your series? I am. I am very happy. Uh, is it per- perfect? No. It's far per- from perfect. But is it truthful? Yes. Uh, sabi nga ni Nico as the role niya as uh, Tony, I want to live my truth mm-hmm. and I'm going to make sure it's my truth. So this series, it's my truth. Mm-hmm. Ito yung truth ko. So people might not believe it, it. people might not like it. I'm okay with that because everyone's entitled to their own opinion. If it's going to be the end of the world, let's say in seven days, uh, at meron kang story yung gusto i-share sa mundo, anong story yun? Uh, Oh my God, meron. I wanna talk about... I think... I wanna talk about my first one. Uh, the one that got away. When growing up, I think this man became the figure why I had to come out. And I lost him along the way. Kasi bata, pinipat ang bahay and everything. Actually, I don't know where he is. In the world of Sockman, I don't know. 
I to forgot his last name, but I can, like, e e if I dream about him, I can actually see his face in my head. So, feeling ko, I wanna talk about it. Yung, uh, yung series ito, well, it's a gay series, yeah. uh, for all we know. Pero, it's a love story that parang everyone can resonate with. Either you're a straight, yeah. you're, 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 exactly. you're a woman, you're a guy. After watching the the entire series from uh, from the first episode yeah. until the last, anong gusto mong uh, parang takeaway ng mga viewers dito? Oh my, yes, actually it's here. Sobra, ito. Ito yung takeaway ko. Without pain, we are numb. There is always hope in pain. Pain and sadness mean hope. Mm -hmm. So it's really my takeaway. This is from in, in, uh, the famous director Bergman, Ingmar Bergman. Na parang yung point ko, even in your darkest moments, there is hope, there is love. So parang you don't really have to give up right now. And today might be tougher, might be more painful. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow will be something else.